Okay, today I'm going to show you how I drew an S score on top of this uh, dough. This dough is my experimental bread. Uh, with it, I'm trying to see if I reduce some of the strong bread flour and change it to um, lower protein flour. Can I get a more open crumb? In Canada, our, our uh, bread flour is very, very strong. It's like 13.3%. Uh, I was able to find some 10% all-purpose flour. So we're going to see how this turns out. So this has been overnight cold retard in the fridge. I'm going to turn this out on my paper. Like so. Hopefully it releases. It's not releasing today. It releases much better than that. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I usually do is brush off the excess flour. I don't like having flour. Lots of people like flour so they can do decorative scoring. I'm not particularly into eating raw flour, so I brush that off. I like to use my lam. I dip it in water to make it uh, sort of lubricated. I'm gonna do an S score, so I'm gonna go around like that and then turn it and do another F. And hold your um, lawn so it's about 30 degree angle to the surface of the bread. And let's see, we can do this. I want to really get a good, clean cut, 30 degrees. I'm gonna give that a spin and see if we can do another nice S. Match it up. I like to give a fairly deep cut. Good. That worked out well, didn't it? Okay, last thing I like to do is I like to brush some water on it. That can give a nice shine to the crust. Uh, sometimes it seems to help with the blisters too, if you're into that sort of thing. I just like to be pretty generous with the water. Push that on. I like having a nice shiny crust as opposed to a flowery crust. So the S score is actually quite attractive when it opens up while you, you get two, two ears. I want to be fairly quick with all this because you can see the dough gradually opens up, flattens out a little bit. Okay, so that's it with that. Let's get this loaded up into the oven. The oven has been on for an hour at 500. I always, I usually bake in a um, Dutch oven. Let's get that out. Okay, carefully place this in the Dutch oven without burning your hands. And I like to push the paper back so it doesn't alter the shape of the baked dough. I also usually give it a couple extra strips of water to get lots of humidity in there. And then the lid. That's it.